Hello everyone! Welcome back to the universe of Dyson Sphere Program. Icarus, come say hello to our old friends. Icarus! Well, it seems to be busy building a super big Dyson Sphere in an all new universe. In fact, upon arriving in this new universe, Icarus discovered some strange neighbors. Back on distant Earth, People are always shouting, giant humanoid machines are meaningless. So, our new neighbors look like this. The center brain calls them dark fog. Well, although they look a bit intimidating, they don't seem to have any substantial impact on the construction of the Dyson Sphere for now. If you want to explore the secrets of the dark fog with us, you must journey to an all-new universe. Of course, before setting out, you can also choose the star sector you want to go to. Although the dark fog has spread to every corner of the universe, different planetary systems are occupied by the dark fog to varying degrees. In planetary systems that have not been occupied by the dark fog, it can be easier to build a Dyson Sphere. If you choose to challenge the more powerful Dark Fog, you can collect more metadata. How to balance risk and reward? It's all up to you to decide. All right, once everything is ready, let's set out and rendezvous with Icarus. Through our careful observation, the Dark Fog always appears in the universe's darkest corners, near black holes. Expanding at the edge of the universe utilizing all available energy and matter to replicate itself. It proliferates and spreads like a virus. We initially just wanted to go up and say hello, but wait! They really do follow the Dark Forest Law. Even the best light industrial mecha, Icarus, that once created feats like mining barehanded, plunging into black holes, landing at ultra-high speed, and flying into the sun, couldn't fight them without an iron. As we progress in building the Dyson Sphere, their hostility towards Icarus grows. Since the Dark Fog has shown hostility, steel, gunpowder, and energy will be the best responses to the enemy. Now, let's cure your fear of insufficient firepower all at once. Goss Turret. Even in this era, Kinetic weapons that fire metal bullets are still reliable. However, to deal with powerful enemies, their calibers are now bigger. Implosion Cannon. Is there something with an even larger caliber? I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Of course, cannons are the way to deal with groups of enemies. Laser Turret. Transforming energy into a weapon to strike enemies. Though it can't show off swordsmanship, lasers are always faster than bullets. Missile Launcher. It's both a shield for the airspace and a sharp arrow that can track and hit. Feeling a bit more at ease now? Not enough? No worries. We have some special gameplay. Supernova Cannon. Ahem. <clears throat> After all, in some situations, the weapon's damage capability is directly proportional to how loudly it's announced. And to help Icarus survive in battle, the center brain will upgrade its shield system. It seems our boss does care about the working people. Of course, all shields will operate in accordance with the law of conservation of energy, and Icarus is no exception. To withstand more damage, remember to shovel a few more scoops of coal into the fuel chamber after the shield is activated. Oh, the enemies are swarming. The defense has been breached and many of our factories have shut down due to destroyed facilities. Look at the destroyed Zion. I feel a bit desperate. Forget about building the Dyson Sphere. I'll spend the rest of my life farming potatoes. Huh? Huh? Drones? What are you doing? It turns out the drones have an auto-reconstruct feature. As long as you have the item in your backpack, 
the drones will carry out automatic reconstruction. There's an ancient saying, as long as the forest remains, there's no need to worry about firewood. At this moment, I suddenly realized that as long as I repair quickly enough, any attack will become futile. Now, it's my turn. Icarus, attack! Dark fog on the ground can't withstand our assault. We've driven them back to their space hive. But I have a bad feeling about this. Hello everyone， 我是戴森球计划的制作人周迅，很高兴又可以参与 TGS Game of Games 发布会，这也是戴森球计划第三次与大家见面。当我第一次在这里为大家展示游戏时，戴森球计划还处于上线前的紧张开发中，那时候很难想象这款游戏会受到大家如此高的关注。如今戴森球计划上线两年，我们在此期间更新的诸多内容，如蓝图、机甲自定义、物流配送器、流速监测器等等。一些新的建筑以及一些新的玩法。当然，自游戏发售以来，战斗系统依然是不少玩家最为期待的内容。去年我们公布了战斗系统的正式概念，并为大家说明了这一系统的基础内容。虽然战斗系统不会从根本上改变游戏的主要玩法，但作为游戏玩法中非常重要的一部分，其复杂的设计以及我们对优化的要求，也让这一系统能有更快的和玩家见面。好在一切都在顺利的开发中。我们预计战斗系统今年可以正式更新。此前我们有展示过黑雾会根据玩家的发展进行扩张。当成群的敌人来袭时，如果防御塔的数量不够，防线将会很快被突破。但使用超新星，我们可以让防御塔爆发出最高二十五倍的射速，对敌人进行短时间的强力压制。不同的设施在超新星状态下也会有不同的特效表现。当他们一起射击时，也就可以看到一场大型烟火表演。当太空巢穴对我们发动突击时，如果我们想要无伤的应对来自太空的远距离打击，可以建造行星护盾，它将利用储存的能量在星球表面形成一道屏障，挡住所有来自太空的攻击，防止工厂被密集的火力摧毁。当行星护盾覆盖全球时，将能最大限度地保护整个星球的设施。为了让玩家有更好的视觉反馈，我们完善了大部分的建筑残骸。这些残骸除了用来营造更具有代入感的战斗场面以外，还可以更好地感受战斗的激烈程度和工厂的受损情况。我们是非常喜欢这样的战损场面。嗯，当然，那要是是我方的建筑的话，那就可能有点难受。那到底现在该怎么办呢？考虑到防守失败后，大量产线被摧毁，工厂停摆。但是玩家根据记忆重新建造产线，那当然是非常不友好，所以当然会有自动重建的功能。只要升级自动重建科技，在物品充足的情况下，无人机便会自动重建被摧毁的建筑，而工厂在被重建后也会逐渐恢复到正常的工作状态。除此之外，玩家也可以通过长按鼠标总键来立即建造某个建筑。当无人机数量较少或者速度较慢时，又或者是玩家想要优先修复某些建筑时，立即建造也会非常实用。性能问题一直是我们最看重的。这次，我准备给大家展示一下我们的实际画面。我们的开发机配置不算高，也是为了尽量照顾一些普通性能的设备。在大量单位激烈战斗的情况下，游戏依然能保持稳定的运行。那相信更好的配置，也就能流畅的战斗。
我们将于今年推出的更新只是战斗系统的第一部分，这一部分内容着重于防守自己的工厂，在发展的同时兼备防御建设。在这个版本更新以后，明年我们将把战斗带向太空，建设空间站，出动舰队，迎战危险的黑雾巢穴。未来还将出现终极武器，完全消灭黑雾，也许会成为可能。我们都期待着尽快让战斗系统出炉。未来也会给玩家展示更多游戏相关的内容，希望不会让玩家等太久。谢谢你们对《代星球计划》的支持，下次再见。
Welcome to Gamera Games Now! I'm Leaf, and the one next to me is Yuki! I can't believe it! The voice module is back! In this game factory, filled with creativity, absorbing game energy and synthesizing the voice module is as simple as can be. Alright! I can't wait to continue evolving! Charge ahead! Hey, hey! Wait for me! Don't hug it all to yourself! Gamera Games Now!得罪了，此战胜负已成定数。南明离火护身，谁能伤我？
We're finally back to our original selves completely! The cool duo! But... Why does it feel like our clothes have changed? Whoa! Why are flames coming out of your hands? Looks like we've evolved too far. I feel like my body is filled with magical energy. It's game energy. This time, as we follow along with Gamera Games now, we've completed an incredible journey of evolution. I have a feeling our energy is about to overflow. So what are we waiting for? It's party time! Gamera Games Now! Tokyo Game Show 2023 Special!我是谭和阿和杰心者崛起的游戏制作人因此在整体考虑之后崛起后续还会有更多的职业也会有类似的新设计在制作开发的过程中从立项到发售预计开发时间为半年之后会有至少一年的时间进行更新和维护同时决心的开发也在同步进行之中那么接下来决心者系列的新游戏决心者遗忘之事为各位呈现
Welcome to Railgrade, the train game which puts you in control of an entire planet's economy. Worry about the details and optimize the flow of freight. Expand your industry and build out your regions into vast production complexes. Railgrade is a campaign-driven train game of factory automation. Optimize and prioritize your heart's content across over 60 story missions as you rebuild an awful colony. Thank you. 